Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. And welcome back to another Biker Scran with Jeff and Dan. And uh, not just any old Biker Scran, but this is the Christmas special. So, welcome back to the channel folks. Hope you're keeping well. I'm uh, out on the trusty Triumph, off on the latest Biker Scran with Jeff and Dan. If you're not familiar with the format of this, these happen every now and then. Basically, it's an excuse for me to go and eat some food with a couple of biking mates. We usually meet up at a biking calf somewhere in the south of England and uh, have a bit of a model and basically see what we think of the calf and give it some sort of a rating. It's quite a tough one this time because the last time we went to Pat's Baps. If you haven't seen that one, go and check out in the corner the video of Pat's Baps. That got the highest score to date. So uh, wherever we end up today, it's got to be uh, it's got to be pretty darn good. Now I'm actually meeting the guys at. Uh, Barnstormers in Alton, uh, which is somewhere I've never been before. I've been to Barnstormer in Maidenhead many times. I bought my BMW there, in fact. But the reason why we're meeting up at Alton is because apparently they've got a new, well, not that new now, but they've got a calf there as well. And I said I would pop in. Uh, so we're going to go and meet uh, Dan up there for a quick coffee, perhaps, and a quick look around. And then we're going to head on up to our next destination after that. As you can see, the Speed Twin is decorated appropriately for this at Yuletide time. Yeah, should be a good day. The only issue is I'm going to be meeting Geoffrey up at uh, White Waltham Airfield, which is kind of en route. Geoff lives in Maidenhead, so that's quite close to him. I'm already running slightly late, and I've just noticed the fuel light thing has come on, Look, so I'm going to have to get some fuel en route, so I'm already going to be in the guy's bad books by the time I see him, so that's not good. Anyway, stick around, stay tuned. Let's see what we get up to today. Right, sadly the only uh, garage en route is this Morrison, so quickly pop in there, get some go juice. Doesn't look very busy, which is uh, excellent news. Look at that, 9.83 litres, that's all I could get in there. Anyway, there we go. Right, onwards. I'll tell you what, this tinsel lark is all very well, but it don't half get in the way of your speedo and stuff. I bet your Jeff's outdone me with the decks on his bike as well. We hope not, I've put some effort into this. Come on cars, I haven't got all day, you know. It's uh, 10.28, I'm due to be meeting Geoffrey at quarter to 11. So I've got a quarter of an hour to get from High Wycombe to Maidenhead. The race is on, should be doable. Right, progress is good, but I've just turned the camera on. Uh, just to show you that lovely sky up ahead, look at that, I don't know if you can see it on the Osmo, but, uh, well, sunrise was a long time ago, but it's a beautiful red hue in the sky, really lovely this time of year. Well, I'm pleased to say i made excellent time, and, uh, I'll just move my tinsel out of the way, look at that, 10.40 on the old uh, clock, it's only five minutes early, fantastic, it's only about two minutes to White Waltham here. What's the bet in Jeff's there already though? High, I reckon. Anyway, at least I'm not late, that's the main thing. Well, what a treat it is to be out on dry roads. That doesn't happen very often this time of year, does it? Brilliant. Gotta love Christmas. Right, just approaching the airfield now where I'm due to meet Geoffrey. I have to say, it wouldn't be a bad day to go flying, wouldn't it? Mr. Trick there. And as if by magic, Geoffrey's there, knew he would be. Good to see you. I thought you would have festooned your bike knowing it was the Christmas special. I can't possibly go into the Christmas decorations before December. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's December the 20th, Geoffrey. Oh, yes, really? yes, yes. Blimey, did you not get the memo? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, do you know the way we're going to go to this uh, barnstormer place? Yes. Excellent. Right, we're off, and I'm glad to say I wasn't late meeting up with Jeff. Jeff knows this area better than me, of course. So, I uh, thought I'd let him worry about the route, although I have got it dialed into me phone and hooked up to me little beeline navigator thing, just in case he loses me, which is quite possible, because Jeff's a much better rider than me. Not that it's a race, of course. So yeah, reason why we're meeting up at uh, Barnstormer in Alton is because a while back, Dean, the dealer principal there, said that uh, they were opening up a calf there and we should go and do a biker scram there someday. And uh, could have let him know when we were going to go. 
So that immediately disqualified it from being on the Biker Scran uh, <laughs> schedule, only because, you know, you can't let these places know you're going, can you? Egon Rone, he doesn't let places know that they're going. So anyway, we thought we'd check out the uh, CAF at Barnstormer in Alton anyway. They do know we're going. Uh, so we'll have a cup of tea there or something, perhaps. I'm sure it's great. And then the plan is to ride on to uh, the Iron Ball, I think it's called Roadhouse, Iron Ball Roadhouse, which is near sort of Hook Basingstoke Way. Again, not an area of the world I know what very well. And you may recall on a previous Biker Scran, we tried to go there, but unfortunately it was shut. So we're going to give it a go again. And in typical Biker Scran style, we haven't phoned ahead to find it if they are indeed open. <laughs> but according to the Facebook page, it is. So we shall see. Anyway, Pineball Roadhouse is today's target for Biker Scran. As long as we can get down a chip mountain, I'm sure we'll be fine. Right, time to turn me heat your grips on. I do love this bike, but it's low. Every time you turn the engine off, it turns the heat your grips off. I'd rather it just stayed on its previous settings. I know Jeffrey's off now, look. He's like a man possessed. Tell you what, Jeffrey was right. This is a lovely ride. Beautiful through here. These trees look amazing in December, don't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I've absolutely no idea where we are now, but it's a very nice little town that we've just come into. Or is it village? I don't know, not too sure. I don't know why I don't come down this way more often. I always say that, don't I, on these bike screens. Just see the sign, apparently this town is Twyford. Very nice, isn't it? Looks pretty posh. I imagine it's very expensive. This'll be Berkshire still. They don't tend to do cheap, do they, in Berkshire? It's certainly, uh, gone to town with the Christmas decorations there anyway. Aha, I do actually recognise where I am now. Just coming to the back end of Reading. Must admit I had no idea that Alton was anywhere near Reading. There we go, every day is a school day. Do you know, I don't know if I've ever been on a bit of motorway on my uh, Speed Twin before. I don't recall, if I have, it hasn't been for long. I have to say, it's pretty good at it. Air flows nice and smooth. Comfy bike at speed, like it. So roll on 15 minutes or so, we've headed south a bit. We've uh, come off the motorway. And uh, Alton is actually on the signs now, it turns out. It's nowhere near Reading. If anywhere, it's near a Basingstoke. Anyway, which is sort of, we're in the environs of that now. Wellington Country Park, apparently. A lovely ride. So roll on another 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, and uh, we've crossed the M3 now. My goodness me, it's bars away this Alton place it turns out. Probably explains why I haven't been there before. Anyway, it's been a lovely ride. This is a place called, I think it was uh, North Warnborough, something like that. We came through the town of Hook, all very nice. Alton is now on the signs, look. So not too far to go. What are we doing for time? 11.30, oh, we might be there a little bit early for Dan, that's good. So this lovely little place is Odium. Somewhere I only know because it's home to Odium Airfield is home to most if not all of the RAF's Chinook force. Somewhere I usually steer clear of when I'm uh, flying around this way in the aeroplane. Who knew it was so pretty? I wonder where the airfield is. Ah, to the left, RAF Odium. Answered my own question. I can see a radar over there and some big hangers. 
on the sign back there it said home to the RAF Chinook Force so that probably is all of them there. I have to say there are some absolutely cracking roads out here. Cool, around where I live in uh, South Buckinghamshire there is very little in the way of decent roads but uh, down here absolute corkers. Oh yes this is what motorcycling is all about isn't it? Absolutely cracking road this. Lovely views, nice surface. Who knew? Well, Baron Von Grumble and Chopsy for two. So we've just arrived in the town of Alton and as I came past the, uh, the sign it said welcome to Alton, Jane Austen's town. Well, well. And there's me thinking she was from up north. Right, so where's Barnstormer then? And this looks suspiciously like it could be the mythical, <laughs> much heard about but never visited Barnstormer at Alton. Thank you sir and the van, how very kind. And there's Dan, excellent. That was a splendid ride, wasn't it, Jeffrey? Yes, lovely, Absolutely lovely, lovely. Road, lovely road. It really was. I mean, we'll have to do it in the summer sometime. <laughs> yes, there was so more it? traffic in the summer. Well, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. So this is the mythical barnstormer yes. at Alton. I've heard yeah. a lot about it. Never yeah. been, have you? Uh, once, many years ago. Right. When I was still working, I came to uh, check it out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I haven't been uh, in Gordon you're not, House. You're not really a BMW man, are you? No. 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 Dan's over there on the phone, look. I wonder what he must be doing some important business. Should we go and disturb him? Yes, let's, yeah, let's do, do that. that. So this will be the cafe then. Do you want a cup of tea? Or yes, coffee? sounds like. I'm having a cup like of tea. Flat. Hello there. Hello. Can I have two teas, please? White teas or? Uh, yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, just a dash of milk. Okay. Don't overdo it. Oh, I tell you what, they make a decent cup of tea at Barnes almost, don't they? It's not a bad cup of tea. Yes. Look at that, it's a dash of milk, which is the which is yeah. the key with this thing. Not the busiest place on a Wednesday, is it? It's not, is it? No, oh. no. Mind you, it is a Wednesday. Some people have to work for a living. Right? And it's cold. Yeah, true, yeah. true. Dan's obviously doing something very good. grips on all the way here. Did you not? No, I did. all the seats. I certainly did. Dan, nice to see you, sir. Nice to see you, too. How are you? I'm good. very well Merry indeed. Christmas to you. Looking for... Look at that. And I'm glad to say, Jeffrey has also... Gone. Oh, he's gone with that. Was last year's Christmas no, jumper? It wasn't. Yes, it no, was. It wasn't. I've definitely no, got the oh, year before then. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hang on. Oh, oh. we've been, we've been, yeah. we've been out yeah. jumpered. Yeah. So, <laughs> if Father Christmas could bring you anything motorcycle related for Christmas, what would you have? Ooh. Now, there's a that young, that young lady who was on the BSA <laughs> advertising. <laughs> Good answer, good answer. <laughs> I was wondering whether a new GS might be in order. Oh, you know, I haven't actually seen one yet. Is that, that why we're here then? Eh? Is that why we're here? Well, then? I wouldn't mind a little look in there because it's. Uh, it seems a shame to have come all well, this way, doesn't well, it? Father Christmas, get that down your chimney. No, absolutely not. Have you seen one of these yet? Yes. Oh, you went to motorcycle live last month, didn't you? Yeah, I might have been to Icomer before that. Oh, did you too? Yes. Blimey, he's a proper pro, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. This cup of tea is much bloody welcomed, I must say. Yes, it, it's a bit... It's a bit... Uh, heated gloves. It's a bit normal. Oh, heated I'm not gloves. even have the heated grips on you wussies. Yeah, well, you're from, you're from further north than yeah, we are. <laughs> Outrageously, Dan has just pointed out that the chain on my bike is rusty. Can you believe this? Check this out, look at this. Unbelievable. Can you believe... I call myself a motorcycle professional and I've got a rusty chain. I've got to sort that out. I need to see a man about that. Well, I have to say that was a top quality cup of tea, wasn't it? That was very good. That was good. Have you, have you tea or coffee? I've, I've coffee then. The and how's coffee? Is excellent. 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 Yep. Jolly good. Right, so having warmed up a little bit, I think we should have a little look in. Right, so here we are inside Barnstormers at Alton. Now, I've never seen the new GS. Dan. Wow. You're, I, you have, haven't you? Because you went to Motorcycle yes, Live last month. I have. And it, it's weird because it doesn't look like a GS. There's one there, look. There we go. So, what do we think? Hmm. You're quite right. It doesn't look like a GS, does it? And the weird thing, what, what I think they've done with it, which is really interesting, is it doesn't look intimidating. So the no. GS, 
kind of can look really big and muscular. It's a bit of a tank, I mean, which is a, a selling point. That was part of its appeal for some, though, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if this is going to not quite appeal to those people. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, it's the first time I've seen one in the flesh, and I'm not entirely convinced. But I spoke to my pal who was on the launch, and, yeah. and he just says it's, it's like the 1250, but just better, or everything is better. Everybody says they're great, don't they? But, uh, hmm, interesting. Anyway, way more to come on the channel about the new GS in due course. So th yeah. this, this is the off road. Th this is the sort of like replacement this is the standard. for yours, yeah? Yeah, 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 exactly. So, I mean, what's... Well, you can get lots of different size screens. Uh, but yeah, that is quite a small one, isn't it? I mean, it's, not only is it small, it's low, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't even cover the... Well, it is adjustable. When you look in comparison with what it's replacing... Yeah, yeah, and that's the um, 750. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Over there. It's a massive departure, isn't it, in on the looks front? I expect that must go from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello. Alistair. Hello, Alistair. Nice to meet you. Nice How you meet. doing? Hey, I've got permission to sit on it, Jules. So that was the first time I've actually ever sat on the new GS and I have to say it feels exactly like the old GS but looks very different. I think it looks quite cool actually. Yeah, but would you do just imagine you're coming up to a mini roundabout in Great Missenden. You yep. want to do a right turn. Yes. You're going to have to plan it a little bit, aren't you? Just exactly. a yeah. It's got the turning circle of a Pottery's mate, a transport and bus. <laughs> I thought, quite, there's something about it I quite like. Really? Like, whether I'd actually want one is another question, of course. Oh, uh, <laughs> think it looks cool. No, sorry. God, that's these two are too old. That's a, You're old, you two. That's the problem. No, 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 no. How big it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's the proper it's tardis, tardis, isn't it? Yeah. Let's, let's, let me show you around here. Come this way. Walk this way, gents. If I walk that way, I wouldn't need the talcum powder. <laughs> <laughs> so, loads of kit. It's also nice and warm through here. Toast in here, workshops, apparently camera, so you can see your bike being worked on, make sure nothing untoward's going on. And that is a proper beamer, isn't it? It's got the, um, the, the uh, offside kickstarter. Yeah. Yep. Weirdly, I'm just not used to seeing them with an, uh, an upright single cylinder. I know, cylinder. a single cylinder is bizarre, isn't it? Oh yeah, wow, look at that. Pump there. Check out the shaft drive as well, how spindly that is. Yeah, and, um, and the rear suspension. Oh, there isn't any. Yes. <laughs> well, there it is. <laughs> so, what's this? is this the gear change? It's very low, isn't it? No, that's no. What the heck is that then? Is that a de oh, my Decompressor? Or, or does it um, well, reverse it, gear? gear change, this side. Yeah, I don't know what that is. No, actually, or, or actually, is it to de um, detach the shaft drive? Or maybe anyway. It's far too complicated. Right. After you, sir. Right, thank you, Barnstormer. Cheerio, that was uh, Tracy there. Man called Tracy, interesting. Lovely fellow, though. Just had a bit of a chat with him. Nice to meet you, sir. Right, we're off then. Thank you, Barnstormer of Alton. Very nice dealership, have to say. Sorry I couldn't spend more time there. But uh, there's eating to be done. Yeah, lovely ride out here. Okay, so where we're heading now is, I think it's Old Basing, is the uh, name of the place. We're off to the, uh, as I say, Iron Bull Roadhouse. We've tried it before, uh, but I think we came out on a Monday and it's closed on Monday as well. We're filming this on a Wednesday, so uh, hopefully it's going to be open today. Let's go and check it out. Oh, it's good to be out riding with the chaps again. It's a little bit parky out today. It's about... Uh, eight or nine degrees centigrade but uh, you know when it's dry you've got to make the most of it and come out 
I say huge thanks to those of you who are watching the Japan series that's running at the moment. Thoroughly enjoyed uh, editing those videos and sort of reliving that trip, which was pretty epic. But I have to say, it's lovely to be on a very light bike. And let's face it, the Bonneville Speed Twin isn't exactly that light, although it's the lightest of the Bonnevilles, I think. Even the smaller 900 version is heavier than this, this being the 1200. But it's just lovely to come out on a bike that's uh, easy to flick around. Not laden with massive heavy panniers and, uh, dare I say it, a pillion. Chain's looking a bit rusty, mate. Sorry? Chain's looking a bit rusty. <laughs> oh, you got those. Oh. He's got those clever gloves, look, with the two things. Interesting. And here we are at the Iron Ball Roadhouse. Looks a bit more open than the last time we visited. Well, it says open. <laughs> So folks, we've made it to the uh, Iron Ball Roadhouse here in Old Basing and uh, it looks suspiciously like it's open. The chaps have gone in to bang us a table. Let's go and see what it's got to offer. We missed the all day breakfast, it's a nightmare. Yeah, breakfast perhaps. So what are we thinking late. then gents? What sort of things have we got on the menu Nine here meals then? meals from 1pm. What's the time now? What's the time? It's 10 past 1. Mm -hmm. Alright, so are we on to light meals then? or are we, we on to burgers. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely starving. So a burger well, I was would do. thinking I was hungry as we were coming along. Yeah, I was thinking all day breakfast, so I've kind of... Yeah, well, that's... I was that's, building that's, me hopes up for yeah, that. Yeah, well, that's that. That's good, mate. Oh, well, well, well. Right, the orders are in. Dan's gone a bit uh, off-piste. And you've gone for something sounding... What is the chakalaka heaven? Yeah, I, would, I, I, I always think you should buy food that makes you smile when you say the name. And you can't say chakalaka without smiling. This is right there. And uh, we've gone for... Chakalaka. <laughs> yes, you can. There's always somebody. There's always one. <laughs> and Jeffrey, we... Codfather. Yes. You can't go wrong with cod and chips, can you? Oh, I forgot to ask if fries came with that. Ooh. So, a cup of tea have turned up. It's uh, a couple of, couple, of, uh, couple of issues with this. Number one, that's not going to be boiling water, because it's now in a cold cup. Correct. And number two, hot milk, which doesn't taste the same as cold. Well, Jerry didn't have coffee, he'd have to make it himself. <laughs> anyway, we'll go with it. Of course, I can't eat this. What's that? No knife and fork. fork. Oh, that old, that old chestnut. <laughs> so, as you've seen, the food has turned up. The chuckalucker looks pretty good, actually, doesn't it, Dan? It does. It looks onion rings, chips. It's all, it's all there. It's all there. No, is it, is it a chip mountain, though? More of a chip basket? Yes, it, yes chips in the basket. That's a bit That'll of a yeah. And the codfather, here we go. Yeah. It's all looking looks good. Looks all right. Onion rings. Yeah. A bit of catch up and some eating irons and we'll be good to go, won't we? Yeah, we will actually. Let me see if I can find those. Okay, the uh, recording and speaking while we're eating is very uh, uncouth, isn't it? it? Is. And we're not that, we said before, oh, don't we? We're, 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 couth. Couth. we're, we're couth. couth, we're not uncouth. So we'll get noshing and we'll report back afterwards. Alright, so we've finished the scran. We're on quite a noisy road and I haven't got external mic, so I'm gonna shout at the camera a bit. But to start off with the scoring, let me go to Jeffrey. Jeff, what do you think? Um I think seven. On what basis? On the basis that the food was okay for what it was. Yep. The choice was extremely limited. Yes. And I think it's sort of style over substance a little bit. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay, Dan. Yeah, every, everything that Jeff said. The food, my food, tasted delicious, but it wasn't very hot. Yeah, <laughs> Which, yeah. Uh, so, uh, nice people, trying hard, nice yeah. and clean inside, super loose. Seven out of ten for the food. All right, interesting. Well, I think you've scored it a little bit more keenly than I, I would, actually. I thought the, uh, I agree, the food wasn't that hot. Well, that was tasty. It was good quality. Yeah, delicious. Yeah, but it, yeah, but it was quite expensive for what it was, yeah. I thought. Especially as I was paying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought, I mean, when we went in, the ambiance was dead, wasn't there? there was nothing yes. going on. 
and also it all seemed a bit like too much like hard work for everything i didn't think uh, i mean they warmed up a bit at the end when we told them we were making a youtube video and stuff but i think for me i wouldn't bother coming back i know it's outrageous to say it but i would i would give it a six at best well, the, the, yeah, i mean the other key thing i mean this is our second time and the first time we came when it we got the timing wrong my fault yeah today we arrive at 10 past one and the menu was only 50 percent of yeah. what it would have been yeah. at 10 to one yeah exactly you know like no all day breakfast in somewhere that's perpetrated yeah, yeah. to be a biker establishment it's not right is it it's not so, right so i'm thinking <clears throat> sorry sorry so there we go we finally get to try the iron ball roadhouse and unfortunately, it was a bit of a thumbs down, which was a shame. I had such high hopes for that, because a few people had recommended it to us. It's actually quite nice inside. The food was quite okay. Had a lot of water dripping out of it, which is a bit strange. And it was quite expensive for a biker place. And I have to say the staff weren't that friendly until they realized we were making a YouTube video. But anyway, some you win, some you lose. We did so well on the last one. So uh, yeah, the bar was set high at Pat's Baps before. Anyway, got a bit of a ride home now. It's a fair old push from here. It's an hour and a half, something like that. And it's not very warm, it has to be said. And it does get dark pretty darn early this time of year, of course. So uh, that's pretty much it for this uh, biker scram with Jeff and Dan. I must wish you a Merry Christmas. Only five more sleeps to go until the big day. I hope you have an absolutely brilliant time. I hope you do manage to get away at some point and get out on your bike during the festivities just to clear your head. Huge thanks to uh, Jeff and Dan for another Biker Scrant. Always great fun to go for a ride with the chaps. Thank you to you for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Missenden Flyer. Cheerio. So, I haven't got it in for any particular sort of car drivers in particular, but uh, Audi drivers, what do you make of this? Nice parking, sir. Thank you for that.